Okay, hi everyone, we're going to talk about box plots. This is just what I prepared earlier from a simple list that we should all be comfortable with. 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 8, 11. So there's 10 scores. And so I found the median, which is 5.5. It's between the 5 and the 6. And then out of the 5 lower scores and the 5 upper scores, we choose the middle. So I get my 5 number summary here. The smallest is 3. Q1, the lower quartile, is 4. Q2, the median, is 5.5. The Q3, 6, and then the maximum is 11. And so this is how we need to do it. We've got an even scale along the bottom. And then the box goes around the Q1 and the Q3. And then the Q2 is a line in the middle. And then we've got our minimum and our maximum. You don't usually need to label that. I'm just labeling that for illustrative purposes. And then you can start saying things like, well, 25% is very spread out, this upper end whereas it's more concentrated in the middle 50% and then the small lower end is quite short as well. So it kind of gives you just a quick overview of the shape. Now I want to look at this next one. It's a first example, well, second example. This is a stem and leaf plot. It's like a big long list, but we just need to be careful. So this score basically we read off as 51, 51, 52. All right, so we want to... Uh, work out how many scores there are, find the five number summary, it's always good to do that, min, Q1, Q2, Q3, and max, and then we can uh, go along and work it out. So the minimum, of course, is 51, the maximum is 78, that's the highest score, happens to be two of those, but that's not going to be important, so let's find the median. So how many scores are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, so 32 scores. 32 scores. 32, good. So we're looking for, well, 16 scores and then 17. So if we count off, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That is halfway. That's my Q2. So we've got 16 scores here and then another 16 scores above. So it's going to be 63 plus 64 divided by 2. So the median which is my Q2, is equal to 63 plus 64 divided by 2, which I think we intuitively probably say 63.5. I've got to put that on my summary over here, 63 and a half. All right. Now I've got my lower 16 scores. As I said, I've got 16, so I've got to count 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the ninth is also 56. This is where my Q1 goes. All right, well, that's pretty obvious, that's 56. So I'm gonna put that there, so we just count it off. And then my next half, I've got 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. And then another eight. So my Q3 is here, between the two scores. So Q3, my upper quartile, 73 plus 74 divided by two, which is 73.5. So we've got that here. All right, so once you have your whole summary, then we're in a position, remember it's 51 up to 78, so it's quite a large range. I'll do my straight scale across here. I'm gonna start down here. Do 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 59, 60, I'm not gonna get there. Okay, it's too big a scale, so I'm going to adjust that. So we might need to just do it accordingly. I'm going to start with 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 6, 78, 80. So we get all the way across, and we've got all our numbers, nice even scale. All we need now is our kind of our thing to say the five number summary over here. So I am going to draw the box first. So our quartile is like 56 and 73.5.
So 56, we put a little mark. We kind of put my mark down here. That's where my box go to go. So let me just do that. And then 73.5 is sort of, those 73s here and the 74, so it's gonna be halfway through. So it's gonna be here. Now, of course, we need to use a ruler. I'm just gonna use my helpful straight line. That's gonna allow me to do this nice and neatly. I mean, if it's slightly wider or bigger than this, that's probably fine. And then we need to do our Q2, our median, 63.5. So that's 63. 63 is here, and then halfway between would give me this one here. Now, once we've got our box, we can do our whiskers. It used to be called a boskers and whisker plot, actually. 78 is my max. 51 is down here. That's my min. Little markers there. And then we connect it up nice and straight with a... Oops. Nice and straight with a line. And if we do that, hopefully we can just not go crazy with it and just move that along. So that's how we do one from a stem and leaf plot that we can see. It could be wider. I maybe should do the next one a bit wider actually and just to show a variation on that. And that's how we do it. Nice even scale. Find all the data from the stem and leaf plot and then we can read it off. Okay.